Thanks, guys. Just like last year, the Sun Devils kicked off their season with a lopsided win over an FCS opponent. And from a numbers standpoint, Herm Edwards' side was much more disciplined in this year's edition. ASU saw themselves penalized just four times for 35 yards on Thursday night, which is fewer than any game a season ago. And if you're looking at season openers only, last year saw the Sun Devils penalized 13 times for 135 yards. That 100-yard difference is something that Herm Edwards and his staff can build off of. But timing is still everything, as Arizona State had two pick sixes called back due to penalties. But their defense still held strong and got the win. But still, it's something that needs to be fixed before this team gets in the meat of their schedule, which kickstarts next week when the Sun Devils travel to Stillwater to take on Oklahoma State. Back to you guys at the desk. Theory out there that goes hitting a baseball is one of the toughest things to do in sports. And for the first few weeks of the season, the Sun Devils subscribe to that theory. The team averaged under five and a half runs per game in their first 22 games of the season. But there are three games in that sample where the Devils had to put up at least 13 runs in order to win a close game. So if you take those numbers out of the sample, it drops to 3.8 runs per game. In that span, the team batting average was just 231, and the Devils averaged under eight hits and struck out under nine times per game. That's not a recipe for success that first-year head coach Willie Bloomquist wants for his team. Since March 25th, however, it's been a different story for the Sun Devils. Since then, but not including last night, the team has batted for an average of 317 to go along with nine runs and 12 hits per game. These totals have come about even after being swept by Stanford last weekend. Part of the reason for this late success has been the recent surges by the freshman trio of Ryan Campos, Jacob Tobias, and Cam McGee during this hot stretch. Entering the weekend series against USC last night, the duo of Campos and Tobias batted 354 and 400 respectively, while McGee's last six games has seen him bat 400 and knock in a team-high eight RBIs during that period. If the freshmen are able to continue their production at the plate, combined with Connor Davis, Joe Lampe, and Nate Bias continuing their solid seasons with the sticks, ASU baseball could put itself on a run towards the end of the season. Back to you guys at the desk.